Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to take a look at a CT scan. So you have had a CT scan and you uh, have your images and you're wondering how to look at them. So I'm going to go over some basic things about that. So on the left side of the screen here I have an example of what we call a viewer. So anything that shows radiology images is called a viewer. Uh, there are various different types. Some of them are online. Some of them come with your images if you got them on a disk. The two most common ways that you'll get your images is either on a disk or flash drive or uh, through an online portal, um, but you'll always have a viewer to view them. The images themselves are uh, in a format called DICOM. Uh, that's just the format that radiology uses. It's .dcm as the file extension, so if you hear that term, that's what that means. Usually if you open a folder in a disk, it'll have a bunch of different folders with all these different types of images. So this is a CT scan. I'm going to use a chest, abdomen, pelvis scan to kind of show um, what we're looking at and how this works. And on the right side, I have a body model just to show the way that we're looking here. So first on the left side of the screen, uh, you'll see these little icons. These may be at the top or the bottom. These are called thumbnails. They basically show the different series of images. So there's different types of things that can be done. So there's different views, um, which I'll go over in a second, and different ways to look at these images. So this is what's called the coronal view. Um, this is a front view, so it's looking at uh, you from the front. So this is the right side, actually, and this is the top, this is the bottom. So this is the right side over here. And if I use my mouse, I can scroll through these images here. So we use that term a lot, scrolling through images. So uh, each image is one image, and this is called a slice. So to uh, take the coronal slices, for example, you're actually slicing the body like this uh, over and over and over and over and over uh, with about one to three millimeters of width. It depends upon the scan. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit less but very thin slices. And then so when we're moving through like this, we're going through a stack of images or slices uh, to make what we call a series. So that goes you know, from the back all the way to the front here as we scroll. So we're basically, as we're scrolling, we're doing like this slice, this slice, this slice, all the way through here. And uh, that's how we're looking at the images in this view. Uh, there's another view called the axial view. This is a common view that radiologists use. It's from the feet up towards the head. So this is the right side and this is the top. This is the right side, this is the front. Uh, and again, we can scroll through here like this. So for example, we start at the top, this is the heart. We're gonna go towards the feet like this. This is the liver and then down here towards the feet. So this is the axial view. Uh, the other view that's common is called the sagittal view. And basically these three views, the point is to get a 360 degree uh, view of your body. So this is from the side. So you can see this is the backbone here. So that would be through here. This is the chest, this is the heart. So this is again the side or sagittal view and we're scrolling through like this to look at the images. So that's uh, basically how you look at them. You'll notice some of them look different than others. Like this one, for example, says lung on it. So let's go through that a little bit. So the way that CT works is uh, it's basically a very fancy x-ray machine. So it uses x-rays to uh, shoot x-rays through our body like this. Um, you're sitting in this uh, sort of round scanner and uh, there's detectors behind you that are picking up the x-rays. And so the way that it works is the images are created by how easily the x-rays penetrate parts of your body. So the more easily they're penetrated, the darker they look. So this is the lung, for example, it's almost black because it's basically air and the x-rays go right through that. Um, and then the brighter it is, uh, the harder the x-ray uh, has to work to go through. So this is bone. So bone is very bright. It blocks a lot of the x-rays. So it's basically based upon the density of different objects in the body. So the more dense, uh, the more white or bright and the less dense, the more black or dark. Um, in this particular study, we uh, have given intravenous contrast also. Um, and so the importance of that is to show things that have blood in them as bright. So you can see this is the aorta full of blood and it is bright. So the, the point of the contrast is to become uh, more uh, dense to uh, show this brightness 
uh, in the blood vessels is the way we can look at blood vessels or things that take up blood like organs or tumors, things like that. So I have an example of one without contrast here. So this is the aorta without contrast and you can see it has nothing in it. And then this is the aorta with contrast and you can see it's bright. So that's the difference between a without and a with contrast uh, if you had contrast on your particular study. So the way that this works again um, is, let me get this here. So the way this works again is, uh, you know, how the x-rays penetrate the body. There's a scale developed, it's called the Hounsfield scale or Hounsfield units. So the way that it works is water is given a value of zero and anything less dense than water is going to go negative. So air, for example, uh, is negative 1000. That's pretty much the lowest. So lung is somewhere in the negative 500 range. And then anything that's brighter than water um, is going to be uh, more than zero. So for example, something that's water, uh, there's actually a cyst in the liver right here. Um, and cysts are full of basically watery fluid. So this would be close to zero. This would be essentially water. So everything brighter than this, uh, so even the liver is brighter, kidneys, uh, blood vessels, bone, everything brighter is going to be a positive number. So the liver is going to be something like around 50, kidneys, uh, you know, in this particular case we gave contrast, so they're going to be, you know, somewhere in the 30 to 100 range with a contrast exam and 20 to 50 without contrast. Uh, the kidneys take up a lot of blood, so they tend to have more enhancement than some of the other organs. Um, all the other, most, most organs we lump together in something called soft tissue, which is the same as muscle. Um, and again, those are going to be in the 20 to 50 range. Uh, bone can be anywhere from 300 to 700. You know, the cortex, which is the outer part, is brighter. That's going to be higher than the inner part, uh, which has less dense bone. Uh, so that's how that works, and that helps us distinguish different things in the body. The last thing that I want to show is the differences in some of these series that I briefly mentioned before. So we talked about that Hounsfield unit scale, uh, roughly zero being water, negative a thousand being pure air, so something black like pure air like this, lung being negative 500 or so. Uh, bone being around 500 to 1,000. Uh, metal actually is even higher, sometimes two or 3,000, um, depending upon the metal. So when the scale is really wide, we get images like this, where we see everything um, within you know, the big range. And you can see here that this is black, this is lung, and you can't really see much of anything. So what we can do is we can narrow what's called the window. So that range of values from negative 1,000 to 300, that's the window that we're looking at. So we can change the level. So this is called a lung window. Uh, some people call it just lung series. So you can see now the lung isn't all black. So before, when we were looking at the lung, um, it was basically all black. We couldn't see anything. See, uh, it's just all black, nothing. So we can't really tell what's happening in the lung. So we can narrow down uh, so instead of showing negative 1,000 to 2,000, we can do like negative 700 to negative 200, and then we know we're hitting the lung. So you can see everything outside of that is now white. So everything, you know, brighter, we mentioned things are brighter, they're white. So now even things like fat uh, that are normally around negative 100, so fat like this, this is fat, um, and even, you know, water, which is around zero, and organs which are around 30 to 50. Um, all that stuff now is white because we're trying to focus on the lung. So that's what this series is, is doing. That's why it's called lung. So now we can see the lung. You can see the lung, you can see the airways, um, things like that. So that's a common one. So the three most common series are called soft tissue, which is what we were looking at before, which is this one, where the soft tissues, with, such as the organs, are the main focus. There's the lung, which is this one. Um, and then the other one is uh, called bone window, uh, which is basically focused on the bones. So uh, if we're looking here again from the side, you can see the bones are pretty bright. This is in the soft tissue window. So if I change this to bone, you can see we can see the detail of the bone a little bit better. Uh, so that's what that means. 
Sometimes there's a dedicated series for this, sometimes not. You can see here soft tissue, lung. So again, now we can see the lung. This one here, this is another common one. This is head. Um, so I don't have that uh, here for us, but basically what that is is that we're trying to distinguish between the white matter and the gray matter of the brain. So they're very close together. So the head has a very narrow window uh, that we're looking at and that helps us to see uh, bleeds and strokes and things like that. So basically as you look through your own body, uh, the only thing now you will need to know is uh, anatomy. So uh, we do have some normal anatomy videos uh, that we will have available uh, that will help you kind of look through here. Uh, you know, for example, like I mentioned, this is the liver, these are the kidneys. Uh, this is the spleen here. So this is how we interpret things. Uh, we as radiologists know what uh, normal looks like as compared to abnormal. Um, so for example, on this scan, there's a fluid collection here that is abnormal. That's not supposed to be there. You know, we go through specific training for years to figure out how to look at these. Um, but if you'd like to look at them yourself to try to figure them out, uh, you know, that's what uh, we're here to try to help you do. Um, if you feel like this is overwhelming um, or you're having a hard time looking at your images, uh, we are happy to make you a personalized video report. Uh, that is basically what we do here at Medifini. Essentially your study would be on the left side of the screen and I would use uh, models and artwork and a normal study to compare yours uh, to a normal one and tell you exactly what's going wrong, show it to you on the screen. Uh, etc. And uh, that is what we offer with a personalized video report. So please let us know. And if you have any questions or you would like to see anything else, uh, please let us know uh, through the contact form. Uh, thanks for watching and, and hopefully this helps you look at your own CT scan.